All right, I got a little bit of a method of attack. Just got back from Harbor Freight. I don't buy much from Harbor Freight, but they're great for sandpaper, disposables, things you just use to throw away. I got a wire brush. Here's a good buy at Harbor Freight. I don't know if they're 10 or 15 bucks, but there's a bunch of grinder wheels and cutoff wheels. I got a wire brush there, wire wheel. And this is my big hope right here, these flap discs. Whether that works or not, I don't know. I've got uh, 40 grit sandpaper for my oscillating sander, random sand orbital sander. Got my grinder. That's a good buy at Harbor Freight right there at $32, I'll tell you that. Got two disposable paintbrushes. And I got a little bit of safety equipment. I'm going to start on these four wing pieces, something easy. I'm going to start with the flap discs and we'll see how it works out. Let's get to work. Flap disc in. I got a 40 grit on that orbital sander. Let's see how it works out. I'm so excited. I can't hear what you're saying. I gotta say the flap disc is the way to go. At least they're, they're a little expensive, $4.99, so I hope I can make good use of them. I'm gonna do the rest of these and paint them up. And we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. All right, I got the four of them ready. I cleaned it up with uh, mineral spirits. They said the use soap and water, I don't want to get them wet. So I got them cleaned up. It didn't take an hour to do all four. And I'm going to give them a coat of uh, Rust-Oleum Rusty Primer. I didn't tell them it was a boat trailer. If I had told them, said anything like that, I would have needed West Marine 422 pre-primer, West Marine primer, two-part primer. And I end up spending a thousand dollars painting the boat trailer. I'm just going to use Rust Oleum, and I just want to say it's not going to be a Concours paint job. If you're looking for a Concours paint job, you're at the wrong place. I would like to just make the trailer look decent. I know from the start I'll have more money into this boat than it's worth. I don't think I could buy one, you can't find one fixed up, I could probably buy one used, and you still got to do all the work, so I have more money, about the same amount of money that it's worth, and I knew that going into it, but uh, it's something I wanted to do, so if you're looking to just fix your trailer up, make it decent looking, presentable, watch through and see what I end up with, see if it's what you want to do, if you want to do a total restoration back to factory you might have to go somewhere else <laughs> I sold a boat one time and I bought it and I put a quite a bit of work into it redid the bottom put the new plywood inside buffed the top of the the, the top portion of the hole above the water line fixed it up, did sustaining on the woodwork, and it looked decent, and I sailed, sailed it, and it looked fine. And I sold it, and some uh, a person bought it, 
a guy bought it, and I said to him, I said, don't put no money into it. Just go sail it. It was ready to sail, and then see what you want to do. Well, I don't know how much money he put into it, but I was watching, and he painted the hull, all two-part west, whatever it is, two-part epoxy paint, and did a, he did a buku amount of work on it. It must have cost him a little fortune. And when he got done, the next year I see it was up for sale, and he was trying to get what he had into it, what he bought it from me for. So uh, when you buy a boat, you better know ahead of time what you're in for. Because you're not going to get much out of it, except enjoyment. And that's what I'm in for here. I'm not trying to make any money. I want to sail. And I want to do this project. So let me get this primed up. I don't want to leave it bare. And then I'll start something else. And we'll move on. So if it's something you think you, you want to see somebody paint their trailer, see what it looks like at the end, hang around, and uh, learn. Oh, the flap discs. The flap discs are wonderful. All right, we got them primed. Now we're gonna move on to this tongue. And down at the end of this tongue, we got a weld on there. So that's gotta come off and get a new one. I priced out a new one and they're only about 13 bucks at Menards. So that's kind of a bargain and I won't weld it back on, I'll bolt it on. And I'll just get my grinder out and we'll grind that weld off and pop that right off and work on this one here. All right, that's off. The guy that welded that was a good welder. I imagine he ain't alive today unless he's pretty old, but that's 1967 he welded that. And that was a good weld. Welded across the bottom, up the sides, across the top, down, and across the bottom again. That was a good weld. four pieces ready to prime and as you can see you don't I don't take it down the bare metal there's kind of a balance here you really don't have to spend all that time you want to get the loose stuff off you want to get the rust off and you want to get it painted as fast as possible if it sits around it's gonna it's gonna get a surface rust on it so I'll clean this up with some mineral spirits and uh, Get a coat of primer on this. These four pieces. And after that, I will uh, start on the frame. And I'll probably start finish painting the prime pieces so that when the frame's done, I can really just start putting it back together again. They say wash it with soap and water, and I just can't see that. So I'm going to use mineral spirits get it all cleaned up. It's pretty rusty and some pits and stuff. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to look nice. You wait, you wait to see. It's going to come out pretty good. Starting to look good already. Yep. We're not building a piano here, as we used to say. All right, we got those pieces primed up. Got the fenders primed up. I'm going to go get the finished paint. 
I can start finish painting those while I work on the frame. I got the frame left and the axle left. So I'll start on those. Start on the finish paint and we should be able to put it back together real quick here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to follow along.